today it's a vegetarian day in my kitchen and uh, it's not normal because we are pure non-veg otherwise we're supposed to be god saras with brahmins and uh, cooking vegetarian off and on so then what can we do for a vegetarian which has to be as tasty as fish that's the question that comes to my mind and i'm doing a kairi urda methi kairi is raw mango and it's a curry which can be as an alternative for the non-veg which the days are vegetarian in the house so let's go ahead and see how it's done so take a tempering bowl put it on the gas this preparation is done only in coconut oil it enhances the flavor of it so add the coconut oil about a teaspoon as the name itself says it's urda methi so methi means fenugreek so about few seeds of methi or fenugreek and the black split dal or urad dal some acid for tada and the dried red chilies there's a mixi jar after its platters it all goes inside and along with that if it's a curry from the coastal side you have to have fresh coconut so this is grated fresh coconut so in will go the coconut add some water and we'll grind this into a nice fine paste You can see it's got a lovely orange color and it's ground to a nice fine paste. So let's start cooking the raw mangoes and we'll add the paste as it's cooking. So what we do is now we start cooking it. Put the pan on the stove. Let's add the remaining coconut oil. Let it go really hot because we want to temper the curry. Don't put the mustard seeds in cold oil it gives a very bad taste to the curry so let it really be really smoky hot for it to get the temper it's got hot so add the mustard let it splatter yeah the mustard is splattering let's add the fenugreek the turmeric curry leaf and the hing I can get a lovely odor from the curry leaf and the hing let's add the chopped mango mix it add the chili powder go a little low with the chili powder because we've already added the chili for grinding so about half a teaspoon will do give it a mix add about a cup of water mix cover and cook for about 5 to 6 minutes The mango doesn't take a long time to cook and we don't want a very smashy mango we want to cook like a potato so cover and cook for about 5 to 6 minutes adjust the flame if you want you can keep it on simmer that's perfect it's smelling so good it's time to add the ground masala to it add salt the mix you need not cover it now because the raw mango is already cooked so just let it simmer for about 5 minutes more now to the tanginess of the raw mango we have to 
you know, try and balance it out with some jaggery. So in goes the jaggery. This preparation is nice and tangy and a little sweet flavor to it. So add the jaggery. This is again organic jaggery that I'm using. Give it a mix and let it remain for a minute or so till the jaggery just infuses well into the curry. The curry is done. I'm taking it in a nice different plate, not for a curry plate. But I just wanted to show you all that how the raw mango looks nice. I have some raw mango which is finely chopped. I'm just adding that. As I said, it's an awesome combination with just steamed rice. Literally in a month, at least two, three times, practically every week I have to make it for my family. So at least you all make it once and I'm sure it's going to be a hit. If you like it, please hit the like button, subscribe to me and share this recipe with your friends.